Odysseus and his men spent several days without seeing solid ground in their heroic attempt to return home when they finally found an island on the horizon. It was the famous island of the Cyclops, one-eyed creatures, sons of Poseidon, the mighty god of the seas. Odysseus wanted to meet the island's inhabitants and chose 12 of his best men to explore the island with him. They found a large cave and the sound of screeching sheep could be heard from inside. Upon entering the cave, Odysseus realized that this was the home of one of the beings that inhabited the island. Inside the cave, there was an enclosure with some sheep, amphorae filled with goat's milk, and bowls with fresh cheese made from it. Odysseus tasted some of the cheese and thought about stealing it, but decided to wait for the return of the cave dweller and negotiate with him. But the hero would regret this decision. The huge cyclops appeared in front of the cave, bringing with him part of his herd that he had taken out to graze. Odysseus and his men hid, fearing for their lives. But the hiding places of the sailors were revealed when the cyclops lit a fire in the center of the cave. Odysseus came out of his hiding place and introduced himself to the monster saying who he was and what he was doing there by asking for hospitality. The Cyclops said that his name was Polyphemus, the most glorious of his race. He claimed that he owned no hospitality to inferior beings, for he did not recognize the laws of men. Polyphemus grabbed two of Odysseus's men by the legs and slammed them to the ground, killing them immediately. As if this weren't enough, the beast still devoured them completely. The mighty Cyclops moved a huge stone and blocked the exit of the cave. After that nasty meal, the Cyclops decided to sleep. Odysseus's men wanted to kill him while he slept, but the cunning leader stopped them because it would be impossible to move the heavy stone blocking the cave exit. The next day, the giant took his sheep out to pasture, leaving the men locked in the cave. Odysseus, together with his men, planned a way to avenge the death of his colleagues. They found a large log of wood and sharpened one end. At the end of the day, the Cyclops returned and, after re-entering, closed the exit of the cave. Odysseus poured into a jar the wine from the wineskins of all his men to offer it to the one-eyed giant. Polyphemus drank with satisfaction the strong wine offered by Odysseus and liked the gesture. He told the hero that, as a reward, he would be the last to be devoured and asked Odysseus his name. He replied that his name was Nobody and that everyone knew him that way. Drunken Polyphemus felt an irresistible urge to sleep. Odysseus and his men took the makeshift weapon and prepared their revenge. They ran with the sharp stake toward the monster's one eye. The Cyclops woke up and screamed in pain. After hearing his brother's terrible screams, two other Cyclops appeared at the entrance to the cave. They asked who had done it, and Polyphemus shouted, Nobody, nobody has pierced my eye. Since there was no one to punish, they returned to their homes. The next day, the blind Cyclops let the animals out to graze, but he did not expect Odysseus to use another trick. Clinging to the bellies of the strong rams, 
Odysseus and his men managed to escape Polyphemus' cave. When they were all out of the cave, they quickly ran to the ships. On the ship, Odysseus shouted at the monster, saying that being blinded was a deserved punishment for a criminal who disregarded Zeus's designs by devouring those who had asked for hospitality. Polyphemus pulled a large chunk out of a mountain and threw it in the direction of Odysseus' cries. The great rock fell near the ship of the king of Ithaca. His men begged him to stop taunting the beast, but Odysseus continued. He shouted again, saying that when someone asked him who had pierced his eye, he should answer that it was the man who devastated the city of Troy, son of Laertes, the great Odysseus, the king of Ithaca. The furious Polyphemus threw another boulder at Odysseus' ship, and it grazed the ship of the Greeks. Odysseus walked away from the island of the Cyclops, regretting that he had lost some men but excited that he had overcome a huge challenge. Polyphemus asked his divine father and begged Poseidon to punish the man responsible for piercing his son's eye. He asked that the god of the seas prevent Odysseus from returning home. If the gods so willed, he should wander the seas for years, arriving home without ship, treasure, and companions. Odysseus's haughtiness, which led him to mock the son of Poseidon, would cost him dearly, for he now had the god of the seas as an enemy.